Thank you for your patience. There's no easy way to say this, but your baby has a catastrophic brain abnormality. What, what does that mean? It means that parts of her brain didn't form. Your daughter, if she is to survive, will live only a matter of hours after birth. During that time, she will experience a multitude of seizures and ultimately aspirate on her own bodily fluids. She will suffer. A decision will need to be made on termination. I wish I could tell you what to do, but there is only one person who can make this choice. How, how much time do I have? And that person is Greg. Greg? Who the f is Greg? Yeah, let me just give him a call. Hey, Greg. Dr. Robinson here. Listen, I've got a pregnancy that could... Yes? But I think this one is the... Yes, okay. Sure. Sure. Okay, I'll let them know. Yeah. That's gonna be a no. Best of luck to you. This ad is from Mothers Against Greg Abbott, and yes, the acronym is MAGA, and if you're looking for someone to co-opt that acronym, this is the group to do it. What's most ironic about this is that the state at issue here is Texas, which prides itself on being some beacon of freedom in small government, except of course in instances where the government is now involved in deciding a woman's healthcare decisions, because nothing quite says freedom like having the government dictate what you can and can't do with your own body. The Texas legislature last year passed a trigger law signed by Greg Abbott that would automatically ban abortion from the moment of fertilization 30 days after a decision from the Supreme Court. That the decision in Dobbs was handed down on June 24th, meaning that only days ago Texas's trigger law was supposed to go into effect, meaning that the people of Texas are now suffering through government mandated pregnancies. And keep in mind, these laws being passed in Texas and other red states are wholly unpopular. 70% of Americans support Roe, and that includes 53% of Texans. In other words, even in states that are red, even in states that are entirely run by Republicans, still this position is wholly indefensible and wholly unrepresentative of the actual constituency. And yet, that's what the Republican Party is these days, an extremist faction of Christo-fascist ideologues who think that their government position is a mandate to impose their unpopular religious beliefs onto everyone else. And to think, these people spent the last century hiding behind this idea of limited government. Tell you what, if nothing else, gotta give them points for the long con. So let's talk about what this means. This means that if you're the victim of rape in Texas and you get pregnant, you'll get further punished by being forced to carry your rapist baby to term. It means if you're a child and you've been molested by a family member, you'll be forced to give birth to who may ultimately become your own brother or sister. That's the world these Republicans have created. That's what they're doing with their political capital. They've decided that if a 10-year-old is raped, she needs to be a mother. Frankly, I don't give a shit about what your position on taxes is. If you cast a ballot for Republicans, this is what you're voting for. You are voting to punish rape victims. And bear in mind, this was Greg Abbott's priority instead of fixing Texas's power grid. That state, the so-called energy capital of America, can't keep its lights on because the corrupt Republican leadership can't stop kowtowing to dirty energy companies. But impose government mandated birth rules? Sure, they have plenty of time for that. Those are Greg Abbott's priorities on full display. No time to help Texans who are freezing to death, but all the time in the world to punish a victim of incest. And bear in mind, while Greg Abbott is one of the architects in Texas, Republicans across the country are doing the exact same thing. This is a party that will stop at nothing to impose its theocratic views onto a majority that doesn't want it. This is a party that has no respect for precedent and the Constitution, no respect for the separation of church and state, and as they continue to pander relentlessly to Donald Trump, no respect for democracy itself. And mark my words, if these people are able to hold on to power, it will get worse. They will ban interstate travel for reproductive care, they will ban contraception, they will ban same-sex marriage. If they are willing to go to the mat in an election year on a platform that 70% of Americans oppose, don't kid yourself for a moment thinking that these people will ever, 
ever moderate their positions, especially when it's not an election year. They will stop at nothing. And the only people trying to tell you otherwise are the same people who tried to tell you that Roe was already settled law. So when you see ads like this one, Republicans will try to claim that they're hysterical, but that's just to cover for the fact that those are quite literally the future that these people are trying to usher in at this very moment. And until and unless these people are voted out of office in November, it will only get worse. So remember this at the ballot box, or Greg Abbott will be making your healthcare decisions for the foreseeable future. Before you go, a couple things. First, if you want to support my work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. And second, if you want to see and hear more from me, check out my website, BrianTylerCohen.com. That way you can get links to my podcast, merchandise, ways to donate to voting rights organizations, and so much more. The thumbnail is also right here on the screen, so go check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.